Um, the fancy chair is back here. Well, there's a fancy chair here. <laughs> there you go. And then, like, if we look, our rug score is up to five. So now we need some books. Okay. Can we even buy books right now? Retro art. We gotta look for stuff that has a bookstore. I feel like there, it would be like a bookcase or something? Um... Rust cupboard? Art. Nah. nah. Chairs. Bricks. Okay. Um, do you have books? I, maybe we haven't unlocked any yet. Yeah. Um, is there anything else we were missing? There are on books. Everything else is decent. Yeah? Could get a little coziness going. <laughs> oh, you know what? I did... Recent I upgraded the bathroom and stuff. Nice toilet. Where's that? Oh, there we go. Get that fancy toilet. Heck yeah! Alright, you're basic. You're both basic. You're both basic! Oh, look at the cold toilet. That's the fancy toilet right there. I like how there's a new toilet and the cat immediately was like, I have to know what it is. What is this toilet? What is this toilet? They put me in my place. <laughs> yeah, I think you could like really do well in this game, but you know, if you like only Yeah, called the ones you specifically needed it and had like built the place so like each one had their own room and everything. Well, and I think, too, with your employees, it feels like what you're supposed to do is, like, go really hardcore training them in one skill and then only have, like, one person in the kitchen with, like, a kitchen score of, like, 20. Yeah, and yeah. And then, like, everybody else serves all the food. And then you could do, like, the cat stuff. Yeah. Witches, pay up! We don't really use you. So get out of here. We don't need that. We'll just do those three for now. Oh, stress kitty. There's a kitty in distress. Sorry, everyone. You can't get what you want until one of the witches pays up. right now. Can't service anybody. But like their cat score is bad. Yeah. But they got like that 0.7 modifier. They didn't get the cat name. They like the rugs. The food wasn't good. Yeah, the rugs are better. Toilet score is good. Everything's decent except for the cat score and the hunger. Comfort. We just didn't have her thing. It was not that good. The bottom. Oh yeah, you're right. Maybe Okay, so we need more witch chairs. What chairs the witches like? Well, it tells you they like. Oh, that's diner, pub. Tea house is the rich people. Yeah, what do they like? Magic aura. We don't have any magic chairs yet. No. Run out of everything because no one's leaving yet. Um, no. Coffee. 
Coffee seems like the most important thing out of that. I feel like a lot of stuff is made with coffee, so... Yeah. I really want so much food! Did you turn around for a minute? Oh. You turn around, you hear friendly rustling behind you. Don't be. Turn around now, my obedient little minion! What is this, like some kinky talk? Alright. Surprise, I made you a thing. She hands you a USB drive. The words Ian and the cool cats is written on it with a pink sharpie. I made you and the cats a song. Honestly, I'll, I'll, although honestly, I don't know I could have made it without you at all. Coming here has really meant a lot to me. Truth is, I felt like I wasn't worthy of love and attention unless I made something good. Whatever good means, you know? Who even knows? I, I end up talking it song. over with Aaron, my big sis. I always felt, felt like guilty towards her. She didn't take care of me when I was a kid. Her music career didn't go anywhere. She never moved to the city or anything. She called me silly, of course. Aaron loves music, but she never wanted to be a musician. She wanted to be a teacher, and now she's living her dream. In the way, so am I. I work on my music surrounded by cats. <laughs> they don't care if you make hits or duds. They begrudgingly accept your affection regardless of how many likes your views or industry attention you get. Good old cats. You're a lot like cats in that way. Thanks so much for being my friend. Um, thank you so much for being my friend. No, thank you for exchanging thank yous forever this way. I had so much fun making this track. I won't post it online, it's just for you. See you back here real soon. What? A meteorite? Put it in a food bowl! You can put it in the lure! Yeah. Where are we to get Space Cat? We still need to get that one more level though. Oh my god. I want a Space Cat! Hit that. Hit that. Get, get out of here. Tomorrow, we'll have mostly witches, and it'll be a good day. Mostly witches. Alright, we can get another cat. Add two more cats. Ooh, nice. Opulent Feast Lure. Okay. It's another story oh. thing. The grim Malkin saunters up to you, their mouth curled into the feline approximation of a smile. Little thing, the shrine is looking close to its original splendor. I think it's time I tell you why this is important and how I knew your grandmother. I'm okay not knowing. <laughs> the story starts long ago, when humans first settled here. These humans are fiercely dedicated to thriving in a changing world, a world of steam engines and smoking chimneys. The settlement prospered, but none of the humans were happy they'd lost all the delight in living. Me too. It was their initial enemy, the wild cats, who through ample demonstration taught them to find delight in every little moment. The cats and humans lived in peace for a long time, they took care of the cats, and the cats brought them delight. They built a shrine and made many salmon offerings to the original cats. More cats came to the valley, and soon the settlers named the town Catherwall. However, the world is changing again, or perhaps it's been like this way for quite a while now. Humans are forced to spend their time worrying and fretting about all the insecurities placed on them. So the shrine fell into disrepair, and they can't defend defense themselves yet again. It's always been the wish of cats here to help bring humans to light and relief. My goal and your grandmother's goal was to bring the town together by restoring the shrine. And to fill their lives with delight, delight for cats and nature and each other. Your grandmother couldn't see it through to the end, and I have no doubt she's happy to see you continue her work. I must ask you, bring delight to all the townspeople and in restoring the shrine. We're no choice, now. you have to. I place my that. hope in you, little thing. Little Ian thing. It leaves a sense of tension falls over the cat shrine. Yeah. Late, Late stage, stage catalysm! Oh, baby. What the heck is this lure gonna bring? Yeah, I, I know. can't wait to see. Did you get a different one from each of them when yeah. you got to level 5? Yeah, I got a doll from one of them. Oh. Alright. We need bread. Lettuce. Lettuce. And ice cream. We might not be able to... Oh. Ice cream is too expensive! The ice cream is too damn high! The price of ice cream is too damn Any high! Any magic stuff? Yeah, there you go, the witch's stove. What does that do, though? 
you can buy it. Oh. Okay, so you get a free one, but then afterwards you could just buy if you like that type of cat, maybe. What does this even do? It's just a, like a, a dorm. Like I put the guy's train station there. No room. It's time for Ian to do the thing he hates most about this game. Expanding. It's not that I hate it, it's that I can't, like, I want to be able to do it in three dimensions. Uh. And because I can't, I just don't care. Oh, you know what? I need it. Our nifty little water. I don't think you can get past that stove. Okay. <laughs> well, that was here before. Yeah. Um, all right. We're making progress. And now the witches should be much happier today. I want to see. Some I know. Happy I can't wait witches, to see who's okay. coming. I want to see what this cat is. It better be a galaxy cat. What the fuck is a galaxy cat? A cat made of uh, stars, obviously. Like oh, Carl Sagan. Uh, sure. We made the star stuff. Yeah. Oh. oh my god, look at him. Yeah, look at that thing! Look at the heck, he's an alien cat! Wait, it is kinda, that more levels? It almost does look like a Cthulhu cat, look at him! Hi. Oh my god, Your skill is, so is not cool. high enough. My skill is higher than it says, he's just a really high level. No, you're 9 of 11. No, I'm pretty sure my cat skills are higher than that. Maybe I'm wrong. Eating. What is your name? Who are you? CT! He's an alien. Resources just keep materializing in your cafe. Every time a customer oh leaves, gain 10 God, of all resources. Oh my God, that would be so good. We need him. We need CT. Okay, you know what? Now that I think about it, okay, here's what I think the problem is. We only got cats with the lowest level lure. Yeah, yeah. And there's multiple levels. I think you're supposed to be getting better cats and giving these ones away to homes. Yeah, yeah. And then that way you get more resources from the cats. But we're not going to do that. We're keeping I them all. I see. We, d we had a major flaw in the way we were playing this game, I think. Ian's like, but we're keeping all of our cats. Yeah, they're mine. <laughs> We're not getting rid of any cats. Hello. Isn't that right, Luna? Uh -huh. Oh, you can over there, too. Yeah. Just hanging out. Ooh. Here, Luna, I'll give you some scritches. Oh! Okay. We are, like, out of everything again. Yeah. No. Don't got nothing for nobody. Um. Check it out. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, the ascendancy point. I was like, what? I was like, is that in this game? It's an experience. Oh, our channel point thing. Yeah. It works on this screen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta redeem it to see. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's it. That's all it does. That's all it does. <laughs> you just have been blessed by Gizmo's uh, laser eyes. You've ascended. Congratulations. <laughs> Worth every point. All those 10 point, 10,000 points, baby. I mean, I know I have a lot of channel points. <laughs> we have bar furniture. Thank <laughs> you. 
He's Great. back! There's tons of strays around Catherwall. Cool. Coming! Yeah, there's a great stray right there. Space cat. Space cat! Alright, look at how many- you gotta do it like six times to get him, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, we need herbs. And ham and ice cream. Stress kitty. But yeah, I took that skill because we have a lot of pub stuff. And because we have a lot of pub stuff, I get extra to all my skills. Mm. Alright. So we need the leaves. I kinda wanna when you're done uh with your playthrough, I wanna Play do your playthrough. Own. Yeah. Cause I'm scared. I don't want to start a new game because I'm worried it would like delete your thing. I don't think it would because it looks like there's multiple save file spots. Yeah, yeah. If you wanted, but all right. Um. All right. Every time I touch Luna to pet her, she looks like she's so disturbed. Don't pet me. I just want to give you pet. Now her paws hanging down. Your paw. Let me hold your paw. Um, there's still no books. Yeah, I don't know how you get books. If you look at the shrine, does it say something for a type of furniture? Oh, you mean like I can unlock one? Yeah. Diner furniture? Oh, I mean, maybe in the fantasy furniture, but I don't know. Magazines for the bathroom. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Who, what character seems the most bookish? I guess Finley. Yeah. Like, who, like, maybe you have to complete somebody's story to get a book? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I want to see what the witches are mad about now. What are you witches mad about today? <laughs> the chair's just okay. Cats are good. Plants are okay. Social's bad, but she hasn't tried to talk to me yet. Like, I want to see what her end score is, you know? I feel like it's mostly that you don't have, like, food for them sometimes, that they're, like... ...mad. Yeah. Well, that's why I purposely only had a few people come today. Yeah, here we go. The animation is so Cosmic good. Cosmic horror. One or two more, I think? Yeah. Oh, but, but I got the buy. God, yeah. Let's see about that. We got plenty of fish. We got fish for days. Give me that alien cat. I feel like you said you could get this up. No, I don't want to spend money for a separate. I was like, what if I got this for the Switch and then I could like play it on vacation and uh, you know when we're home? But times point three, the wrong cat is hanging out with her. Um, Maybe magic ore is okay. The rug's okay. She hasn't ordered food yet. Oh wait, let me get hung out with her. Oh, he can cook on that. Oh. Still not the right cat. I think the black cat and then the white cat with the brown tip on the tail. Yeah, are see, the that witch one cats. doesn't have any witch stats. Yeah. But once she gets her harmony tea. I love watching the cats run around. Like, it looks like they're actually working. Yeah. These cats are putting in their time, they clock in. This really is a cat. catapulism. Or how would I Yeah, catapulism. <laughs> Okay. Cooking was okay for the tea. Seems Wait. like they're mostly okay, except for if they don't get the right cat. Yeah. Teas and ice cream is what you need. Yeah. Can't afford either right now. Too expensive. Well, the witches, like, take forever. Oh, the coffee machine broke down. Oh my god, there's so much happening on the screen. Shiba 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 that is indeed how I talk to the cats. It pretty much is. Mm -hmm. They're just my little babies. Oh, okay. Cheese? 
What was the other one? Uh, ice cream. Ice cream. Maybe those vanilla balls. <laughs> Let me get over here. Help us catch up in the kitchen a little bit. are going crazy. It's happening too fast! Nobody has a high enough skill set to make a freaking omelet. <laughs> the omelets have like multiple steps. Yeah. Yes. Alien cat! Got that mess. Multitasking! Hello. Come on. Oh, oh one gonna, more time! It's gonna end right before you can get this alien cat. Yeah, but like now look at how much uh uh nectar we're getting. Yeah. Get that nectar. <laughs> Fish Santa. Ain't he a sweet land? I think I'm gonna level up the cats that don't have the witch levels, like they don't have any witch level, uh, to so unlock the witch level for them. Right? Yeah. And lettuce. We need some milk. We need some herbs. It's only a five copy. I don't know how much copy it's out a day though. Honestly, like. That one worked pretty well. That was a good day. That was a good witch day. Yeah. yeah. And then we're gonna get our space cat today? Hell yeah! Space cat. I like that cat hiding in the corner. <laughs> like, don't talk to me, I'm sleeping. I'm on my 15. Poochie cuckoo. Cuckoo is a, um, like, a, if you said... Like if a French person says cuckoo when they walk up to you, that's like, hi dear. Mm. Like it's like a sweet way. You I thought you were going to say it was an insult. It's like a fond hello. Ah. Oh, we almost got him. Um, yeah, you're CT. <laughs> Yeah, they start with high level skills. You've adopted every cat that's right to the meteorite. Use different lures. Alright, but now. So they're telling you the meteorite lure, lure would not yeah. work anymore. This is the other one I got. That's from the witch. Yeah. Right? So that might be useful. I like his two tails. Yeah, he's just hanging out now. And we're gonna get bonus from everyone now? Yeah. How you feeling? Not great. But also, great. he's talking to you now, so... Yeah, I'm trying to pet the stress kitty. Oh, you know what? Let's make sure... Okay, so we have six toys. There's enough. We need way more cat litter. Okay. And scratchy. The other yeah, yeah. But the these ones don't. If you buy them, they don't increase the score because you already have oh. one. Oh, so what are you supposed? We to gotta do? level up the cat tree. Oh, you gotta get the better litter box. Yeah, yeah. Which today we might reach the level to finish that. Yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> people everywhere. I can't even walk in here! Uh, how much longer are you thinking you're gonna play for? Uh... I don't know, I'm five. Oh, I'm just gonna go feed the cats if you're gonna be here Yeah, for a while, I mean like, I'm, I'm just having a good time. I feel like we kind of fell into a quiet bit, but I don't really... But it's also deeply... Satisfactory. 
Alright, now we buy some tomats for our beautiful customers. And we can level up. And I would like to level my... You know what? Ethan, we're gonna get your cooking up. Um, I would like more cat points, please, to level up my kitties. Alright, we unlocked more chairs, and I said I was going to unlock... Um, cat stuff. Better litter box. Hi. Oh, we're out of eggs. We need these eggs. Luff. Je voudrais de luff, s'il vous plaît. Don't worry, kitties. I'm gonna get you what you need. I should buy a better refrigerator, too. Oh, stray cat. Oh, it's a ghost. I am way under level for this cat. I guess if we gave the cats forever homes too, it would give like less stats needed. Right? His name is Booberry! Into the void. It's nice not having to deal with all this trash. It's surely worth signing the contract, but why can't you shake this feeling of dread? Oh well. Trash never appears in the cafe anymore. Oh, the cats are stressed because there's not enough litter boxes, so they're peeing everywhere. Oh, no. oh, we got level 5 for Bonner. I'm working on the kitties, don't worry. You were a little thing, come here for Big Bad Bonner Hug. Bonner holds you close. Why does Big Bad Hug feel so good? Remember a while back I got in a row with Gavin? You made me realize I ought to hear him out. He's been worried me for a while, actually. Just been scared I'd take it the wrong way. Should I suppose I proved him right? Getting older can be scary. I keep feeling like I'm losing things, people leave experiences past, and now I'm starting to lose some of my memories to boot. But over my long life I've gained lots too. My beautiful Gavin and Catherwall, your grand, and you too. Can't do nothing to stop my body from aging, but I try not to lose sight of what I gained. You help me realize that. That might have been your best story yet. Don't go retelling that one now, that story is just for you. I went to the hospital, he was more scared than me, man was shaking like an Adam's apple struggling against a turtleneck. I'm okay right now, just a little hazy at times. We've been told to keep an eye out for it. We call Gavin Four Eyes. Now I said I ought to take a few shifts at work, and it'd be hard, I don't want to endanger the folks I ferry. Spend a lot of that free time here, the other customers will be begging me to leave. This sounds good as I thought. Seeing Shay Shat now, I can't believe it's all started out at some empty field I met you. You made Cather all about your place, you remind me. Thank you for helping me with the cats. <laughs> He gave me the blessed lure. Okay. Um, alright, we definitely ended with like a net positive on that day. Um, town. Is cheese? Is ham? Some lettuce. Is it tomatoes? Before Gizmo eats it all. <sighs> um. How are we doing that? We're all. We got to get the litter boxes. Yeah. They're they're peeing everywhere. Oh, we have more chairs. I can put more chairs up. We did an S rank at some point. You don't have any chairs. Yeah, but I, I, mean, I can build them. <laughs> Another hallway. <laughs> it's just so interesting to see 
I feel like your way of designing and organizing stuff for games like this is so different from how I would do it. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, I could, like, redo this so it would look better. Actually, like, we could take some time to do that. I mean, you don't have to. I just think it's really interesting, because... And, like, I would be doing, like, way different stuff with my staff. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. Um, because, like... Um... Actually, let me do this one. Did the house. bars do anything? Can you make drinks at the bar so you don't have the to The bar the gives or? you pub energy or whatever. Oh. Um. Draw the entrance. I was trying to think of what kind of floor the witches would like best. It doesn't seem like the flooring goes with, like, a specific type, right? Yeah. Alright. Back here, it's gonna be the witch room. It's gonna be all like castle-y. <laughs> okay. Um. Is there like? <coughs> Cozy stone wall, concrete floor. Pretty carpet might look like with the stone walls and Oh yeah, yeah, like a castle. Yeah. It reminds me of Dragon Quest, honestly. Oh yeah. There you go. Then like, do the witches have a certain table they like? We haven't unlocked the magical you, table yet. I think you got a table one from one of the... Like, it's in the cafe. Is it not that table? This one? Yeah. What is that? Oh, it's this tea ceremony table. Never mind. I thought you got a table. Diner. Maybe not. Fresh tea for the witches right there. Yep. Um. Alright. Tables. Nice table. That's pub. Hipster. We just haven't unlocked their table yet, yeah. so I'm just gonna buy that. Put that here. Um, they like one of these chairs, don't they? Uh, it's this one, I think. Magic chair, yeah. And then we haven't unlocked that yet, so we're just by. Gracious chair, elegant chair. What's the difference? This comfort gives you level? 10 for tea house, but yeah, it's got better comfort. So I'm just gonna buy some of those. And then we need to get more fabric. So we will advertise two vagabonds. start, like, building their spaces. Alright, we need people to be happy, because I need more... <laughs> Big smiles, more everybody! Big smiles! Oh, yeah, get in here, Blueberry. <laughs> I want to see this ghost cat. Hello. 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 Aww. I 
love that his name is Booberry. I love that his food is a doll. Hmm. Um. Yeah, they don't do any cafe stats. That's so weird. So you have to have one of each litter box type, basically? Yeah, they want you to buy different things. Interesting. Ha ha ha! Call me friendo one more time, Mateo. I will destroy you. Oh, you know what? <coughs> Put some plants in there. <sighs> that plant was also just like straight up in the way. You also put some of the magic stuff that you got in there. Okay, so you have witch stuff, you have no witch stuff. Like, eventually we'll get the choice to give them witch abilities. Yeah. Be on the lookout for Cat Pee. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> See, the cat's like freaking out because there's not enough litter boxes. Yeah. But also, like, if you, like, got rid of a uh, cat by giving it a forever home, it would, like, lower the stuff you needed. Yeah. Milk, milk, milk. Where is it? Past it. Their furniture gets cat care. We have bar stuff, so this will boost him a lot. <laughs> Our space cat's freaking out. Oh no. Cleaning. Yeah, even though they don't provide bonuses, like they don't fill that need, they do matter like if a person sits in a chair they don't like. Yeah. So just having like a chair that has more comfort, even if it doesn't provide like another need is important. Yeah. Did you go eat some wet food? Did you? Oh. I know there's straight cast, but I'm cooking. Come here. She's like, no, I don't. So these cats have like really high needs, and it actually might be worth doing forever home stuff. Yeah. I mean, and then you get points to level up. Yeah, yeah. Like, get rid of one of the cats that doesn't have witch stuff. Yeah, yeah. Meow. Um. Whistling Pete. <laughs> so they want one with high vagabond. Risk. Yeah. I don't think we have any that are like really good. No, that's a witch cat. Vagabond four. So we have a fisherman six one of the two that are not witch cats. There's a fisherman. That's like the highest one. Or you could get rid of the um, all cats. They will just give you fish, though. Yeah. Oh, they also give you. Oh no! Wait, the reward is is the delight. The delight, yeah. So if we gave them that, if we gave them will. We get the light. Hi, will. Hi, will. You were cool. And it immediately unlocked Yeah, the now boxes. we got the better yeah. litter box. And then... Fancy food bowls. But I want to get 
this stuff to make well, the Well, hold on, can you just get the fantasy stuff? Oh, you're right, Because I see. you already have, like, the diner stuff, but that doesn't seem as useful, and the fantasy stuff might give you books. Yeah, yeah. So... And then if we look at our decorate stuff, we got enough toys, we still don't have enough cat litter. Or enough scratch. Yeah. Litter box 5,000. There it is, and the big litter box, too. Yeah. But I want it. Oh, we don't have another scratch. You get another toy? Oh, okay. We don't Relaxation. Have a toy bell. Then. Going back here. Maybe eventually we'll make a, a litter box room. Yeah. I mean, I feel like the litter boxes being in the rooms is okay. It's uh, like it's like an understandable problem. Yeah. You go to a cat cafe, you kind of expect it. Yeah. Because when we get the ghost cat, it's gonna get like more demanding. Yeah. Hello. 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 I love that this cat's just like hi. Hanging out. They just have like really high bladder needs and stuff. Yeah. Because they're like freaking cosmic well, animals. Well, you should have enough with the litter. Yeah, animals, yeah, yeah. So. Oh. Hey. Oh, Gucci, Gucci. Gucci cuckoo. But yeah, look at how much nectar we have now. Yeah. Oh dang, that was so much. Which did actually, you not buy anything? Or? I didn't because we just didn't need anything. But let's check that so we can buy new recipes. Everything else is Why'd okay. Why did you get so much? Because we like really upped what the witch is like. Oh. And also we got better cats. Yeah. Um, so if we go to recipes, veggie stew seems like something the witches would like. I think I'd seen people ordering that blueberry pie too. Uh, also, we're getting bonus nectar from CD. Yeah. Our stove broke! Imagine if it was like someone walked in and fixed your stove that fast. I, I would be like, I'll pay you whatever you ask, because that's incredible. Maybe like your problem is you didn't plug it in. <laughs> oh. There you go. Yeah, we're back up to 118 already. Yeah, nice. It really is. What do you want? Chocolate sundae. Or is it a strawberry milkshake? You don't have ice cream. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hi, Mateo. Mateo is our, our uh, rat. He's There's our like insider. more to this game than I thought. Like, I was like, I think five is the max level, and we're getting kind of close to it, and like, it seems like there's a I lot think more. It probably goes up to ten. Yeah. I guess. Oh, we got some more levels. Cooking the food good seems very important. Yeah. I mean, honestly, a place could be shitty, but if their food is good... Yeah. I'm good food? All about it. And, like, and the cats seem service. happy. Yeah. I'm good. Well, even the service could just be okay. As long as the guy, the server wasn't like spitting in my face. You're or telling something. me that's not done? Aww. They tricked you. Come back! He's got the little hand above him. I was like, I've caught you down. Oh, yeah. 
space cat's hanging out. Oh with. yeah, the space cat. Which is love a good space cat, I guess. Hi, hello. Catherwall's future. Forza. Yeah, look at how much stuff we're running today with now. Yeah, definitely that building that room was a great idea. Now, okay, let's go through and make sure we have everything we need. Coffee. Coffee. Lettuce. Strawberries. Then we'll get that blueberry we were talking about. Oops. Flower and blueberries. We can't oh, order no! the second part of it. And then I want to come over here and do we have basic fridge? Is there a better fridge? There's a diner Hipster fridge. fridge. Hipster fridge. Diner. Right now, we've just got this one bridge that's not really doing anything for us. Yeah. Order up. Still a C rank, though. Yeah. Oh, he's got it. Good job. When we get the fantasy furniture and we finish making this room. Mm. Yeah. And you got wish needs? What the hell? Oh, huh. Why is it bad? I don't know. I guess it needs to be level 15. I was like, I think the cat is not high enough. Yeah. Oh. Sir, this is the wishes room. There's a business van and a bag of bond in there. Yo. Blueberry is just such a good Yo. damn name for a magical kitty. Yeah? A dead magical kitty. Yeah. Give you a little pat on the head. Adopt. Blueberry. Ooh. Starts with seven witches. We're not gonna have trash show up anymore. Okay, so no more strange dogs. Oh wait, we cats. can't adopt any more cats right now. We have a full house. Yeah. How's our uh We need more toys. We need more cat litter. We can buy this one. It's gonna be big. Oh no, it only takes up one square. Um. For now. Then we need some cherries. <coughs> oh, I don't have any nectar right now. Hello. Everybody's hanging out in the cafe. Oh, good to yeah, once someone finishes up. We'll have enough. 69. Okay, um, cherries. And then when we get through that, we'll get flour. We'll go call Mateo. Oh my god, what kind of cat would Mateo's lure bring? Oh, that's a good point. A bougie one. Have like a gold collar. I like how the cat, the ghost cat, just has that hand floating over him. I feel like that's a glitch. Uh, we watched the first episode of Miss Marvel. It's was... actually a good point. We have to, we have episodes of that to watch if we want. Yeah. Um, I thought it was okay. It definitely seems like it is angled towards like a teen demographic, which is not necessarily a bad thing because it doesn't. I mean, I like it has a lot of like heart. That. Um. I don't honestly know that much about Miss Marvel. I know a lot about Captain Marvel, but not that much about Miss Marvel. I've never read her comics, so uh, I would be interested to see if this is like uh, her story to like 
and see what it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I didn't, like, it was not like I was compelled to watch more, but I could see why people would really like it and why they would, like, look up to it. Yeah. Like, it's got... It's got the kind of spirit I like from shows, and I just don't care about the character at all, it, it has, like, a lot of teen drama aspects. Henry in The Walking Dead. Who is Henry in The Walking Dead? Is he the old guy? No, wait. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I watched The Walking Dead. I don't remember who Henry was. I will say, like, I think people expected the mom to be kind of, like, like understandable. Oh. Not as a villain, right? But as, like, a, like slightly antagonistic to her daughter's lifestyle. And I also like these parents just seem disconnected from reality. I mean, I feel like that is not an uncommon issue. I feel like it's telling a specific story that, like, maybe we don't relate to, but, like, other people would relate to. I mean, like, yeah... But, like, I, I guess it's, like, it's supposed to be over the top of a superhero show. I think it's a cultural aspect, is what I'm saying. Yeah, but, like, I understood that, but, like, it wasn't even, what like... It wasn't even, like, no, this is gonna distract you from your grades. The mom was just, like, out there, and the dad was, like... <laughs> that was the only part where I was kind of like, this is not a drill. Yeah. Uh, I probably, like, a fictional New York City style. Well, no, because I think it said where they were. Was it Chicago? Were they in Chicago? I think they, they said this, or it might have been New York City. I feel like it wasn't New York City, though. I thought, oh, M Marvel doesn't do the fake thing where there's, like, no, central they're real city, cities. star city. You're right. They're real. It takes place in real cities. They're, they're in a big city, that's for sure. I just can't remember which one it was. For some reason, I want to say it wasn't New York, but maybe it, it might have been. I They didn't really talk about it that much. Maybe they didn't, I forgot. <laughs> but a couple weeks. I always forget. What the? What Will's gone. Mean? Oh, he's got forever home. You're my favorite. You're my favorite. Steve Harrington. What do you mean, is here? <laughs> yeah. Like, where you are? Oh. <laughs> he just walked into your house. I was like, in your apartment? I was like, He's here. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay. I feel like uh, they don't film that many movies up there, right? You guys get a lot of movie traffic? That's probably very exciting. Deep Harrington. I'm glad to see he's getting some work outside of Stranger Things. Yeah. Because I always kind of wonder about it. Millie Bobby Brown's already had multiple roles outside. Same with uh, Finn Wolfhard. But I don't know so much about the other ones, right? I know the kid that played Dustin was in theater. Like, I think he was in the production of Les Mis on Broadway. Oh. At one point. I think he played the, the kid. Famous kid. <laughs> I think that that cat just glitched out. <laughs> He's freaking out! A fan saw him at their vintage clothing shop and he was happy they didn't make a big deal of him coming in. Yeah. No, I mean, I feel like we get a lot of that here. Because we have a lot of celebrities around. I, but I feel like everybody in Atlanta is like, yeah, whatever. You're what? here. I think that means that they're hungry. What do you guys mean you're hungry? You have There's enough food. two empty food bowls. Ow. There we go. There, you checked off a box for one. There you go. There you go. Now they'll be satisfied. Can I? Is there something over here I gotta do to get better scratching posts? I'm working on the diner one, but I think I should be working on this one. The cats are a little stressed because we don't have the toys and stuff. Yeah. You know, I can see celebrities appreciating the norm. norm I can never say this normalcy. word. Normalcy. Normalcy. 
feel like a part of them is like, oh, I wish they were more excited. Yeah, it probably does depend on the person. I was going to say, you know, when people ask the question, like, if you, like, could be famous, like, would you? I always feel like I'm like, I, it would be kind of cool to be famous because you wouldn't have to worry about bills anymore is the main thing I would be thinking in my mind. But I just don't want people to bother me. So I just don't like yeah. talking to people. I don't want people coming up to me. I don't want to have to pretend to be happy to see people, you know, and I'm like, like I, if I'm famous, it's probably because, like, I'm an actor and I'm playing, like, like, a character that they really like. Like, Owen Wilson was very chill with us at Barnes & Noble, but he waited until he realized, like, he came a few times and no one, like, was like, Owen fucking Wilson! And then Josh Berlin comes to the other Barnes & Noble here a lot. So, like, I don't know, they're just coming in and they're just, like, you know, come if you say hi to me and you're not fucking weird and like I'm not like clearly like having a moment with my child or something. Hi. Yeah, I just don't want to uh I wouldn't want to be famous cuz I wouldn't want people just running up to me on the street. I feel like I would be very like paranoid. Yeah. Or like paparazzi too. They're like so invasive. Oh yeah, that's like I'm just trying to have like a nice vacation or something and these paparazzi are taking pictures of me and then I look at the newspaper and it's like did Veronica gain 50 pounds? Is she pregnant? I'd be like, no, leave me alone. <laughs> the Stranger Things cast got paid 250 k per episode? The main three, Millie, David, and Winona, got paid 350 k Wow. Yeah, and that's probably on the low end for that's a dream. episode stuff. I wish that... Uh, was Judge me. Judy was like the highest paid person per episode on television. Judge Judy. Oh, good Judge Judy. All right. Like when you, I know you. I'm gonna stop. I was just gonna ask. I'm just gonna check in again. What do we think our playtime is gonna be? Forever. Right. Um, but uh, like think think about the amount of money spent per episode for the Rings of Power show. Oh yeah, it's gotta be insane. Yeah, the first season only had eight episodes. I prefer when seasons are shorter. I kind of also prefer when seasons are shorter. I mean, a lot of my very beloved shows that I liked, I feel like had a lot of seasons, which would be like, you know, Supernatural. I think the Vampire Diaries had longer seasons. I yeah. think, you know, all those CW shows that I kind of grew up on. But I really do think now I kind of am preferring the eight to 10 episodes kind of set up. Cat burglar. 10% jewels payout? 10% fabric payout. I just went for pay. It's a lot of money, but it's also only eight episodes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. They're not doing 25 episodes making, oh. you know, bank off of that, I guess. Also, but I feel like Winona, she's gotta be She's set, a though. big, big name. She's gotta be said. Yeah. I can't believe she's getting because paid the same as David I, and Millie. I would accurately say that the best Dracula production is the 90s production with Winona Ryder. Mm. I know the one that you are talking about. I've never seen it myself. Oh, man, so. it's so good. Like, it's cheesy in the way like a 90s production is, but it's the most accurate to the book, and the characters are very accurate to like how they're written. Yeah. I just want the cat relaxation, too. Yeah, Millie, she honestly, well, that's why I was saying, well, I'm surprised David gets paid as much as the Winona and Millie, I guess. Winona, I feel like she would just get paid more for who she is. Yeah, she's the name. Uh, and then Millie is like, she's, a, you could argue, the main character. Yeah. So it would make sense that they'd be the main two. David, uh, I think he's like very... Um, He's like fan favorite. Yeah, that's what, okay, thank you. Because a favorite among the fans. I know he but, has like a growth arc, but I didn't care about him at all in the first season. Yeah. But he's like kind of a jerk in that season, right? And he kind of grows into like a big brother figure, I think. Um, for the police officer. Oh, David's the cop? Yeah, David's oh, he sucks. the cop, I hate him. right? <laughs> yeah. He's a bad actor. I think actor. so. I think I think yeah, he's the cop. Is, is I the thought movie. David was the kid with the hair. No, that's Finn Wolf. No, not him. The older kid. Dustin. No, the older older kid. Oh, the Steve Harrington. Steve Harrington. I don't actually know that actor's name. 
So Okay, so we're talking about David Harbour. I I was confused. Yeah. Yeah. I will never forgive him for playing Hellboy. Yeah? Yep. <laughs> I don't have the vehement hate of him that you do, but I just think it's interesting that he gets paid the same amount yeah, as yeah. Winona and. There's a movie, Millie. Yeah, um. Is it the Sherlock Holmes? Uh, Enola. Enola Holmes. It's really good. It is actually good. <laughs> and we had it. Cavill's in it. <laughs> we had it playing in the break room for a while at Barnes and Noble because everyone was pog. I actually did really like it, and I think they were supposed to make a second one. Yeah, it's a book series. And it was interesting seeing Henry Cavill play a character like Sherlock because I feel like he gets really he goes put hard. into these like yeah. uh, beefy strongman roles. Oh yeah, my role. But he's kind of he plays you know Sherlock, the intellectual. She's British. <laughs> yeah, she's actually British in real life. She's not American. <laughs> I, I think blind? she's the only British person from the main Am cast. Am I blind? Too, right? Where's beef? There it is. Where's the beef? Oh, I smell. I, I smell, smell like beef. beef. <laughs> 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 Halfway there. Whoa! We're halfway there. Whoa. Bon Jovi's another guy on my shit list. Oh yeah. Yeah. She's best. Yeah, she is best friends with uh, Noah, the guy that plays Will. Oh, I didn't know that they made YouTube videos, but I I had to remember seeing in an interview where she was talking about how they were really close and like they would hang out a lot. So. Must be nice to be like that. That's like, um, what's her name in Leo? Um, Who's Titanic Lady Kate Winslet? Is that Kate Winslet? Oh, I think it was Kate Winslet in the Titanic. Yeah, when you said it. Titanic Lady and Leo, for some reason, I thought you meant Leo, your friend Leo, and I was like, Well, he's what more important. I was like, what does Titanic Lady mean in her guy? But, like, there's that interview, and I can't remember who it is, but someone talks shit about Kate Winslet, and Leo in the interview is like, I will fucking end you. <laughs> he's coming for you. That's his work wife. I will say, like, I like all of Leo's work. He hasn't done anything to me that has ever lived up to Shutter Island or Inception. He hasn't had a really big role lately. He was in that the what, movie the that... Don't Look Up movie recently. Yeah, and he won the Oscar for the Bear movie. He did. He did. Finally, they gave him an Oscar for that Bear movie, which kind of did feel like a pity, or like a I guess just like oh we haven't given it to you, but you definitely deserve one, so we're gonna give you it. For yeah, this here one. you go, guys. That that Bear that movie. What the heck is it even called? I don't remember. Um, it, it was all right, but it wasn't like groundbreaking, you know. There's an interview where Noah, Finn, and Millie were asked who their favorite cast members were to work with, and Finn said two people who weren't there, and Noah was like, "Oh, well, I was gonna say Finn and Millie." <laughs> he was so sad. Oops. <laughs> oh, Finn just was like, "Oh, well, not these two, that's for sure." <laughs> One more day, and we'll have the boys. Yeah, the kid, the whole kids of that crew. I mean, I feel like there's got to be a really special bond with actors who work yeah. together because you just become, you spend so much time together. You are so close. You're, you know, like emotions run yeah. high when you're like doing these specific scenes with each other. Um, so I could definitely see it. They grew up, yeah, they grew up together. Yeah, I'm sure they all like did the schooling thing that actor children do together, you know, where they all, like, take classes on set kind of thing. So. Yeah, I mean, like, all the kids that, like, I um, did theater with, like, I was, like, late teens and stuff. And, like, you know, like, now, like, Maddie just won, like, Miss Niagara or whatever. And I'm like, look at my, my child from Lame Miss Go. Look at her go. My child, where my name is. <laughs> my child. I do remember we were backstage and she was standing there and she was like 12, right? 
And so I tapped her on her other shoulder and she looked and she couldn't figure so she didn't know where I was. And she like spun all the way around and when she spun around I was like, what's that? And I flicked her in the nose. Like I, I looked down and I got her in the nose. And then I was like, hey man, you got both written on the ceiling. And she was like, and her dad was standing behind her and Chris was like, <sighs> got her. <laughs> Just absolutely annihilated. Noah uploaded a video where he got to his dream college and he was crying with his family. Oh, he has a twin sister. I didn't know that. Oh. Nice. And come on. And then we can level up the kitty. Level up the kitties. Ooh. Plus one stress arrest to get. Plus three oh, and boy. plus one. Okay, well. Yeah, this just seems smarter. Yeah. Let's just get him some variety. Like how close we are to the relaxation needs, though. Yeah. <laughs> um. Was that the cats fighting? Oh, I don't know. Maybe they're fighting over food because there's. A yeah, but we're 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 close to the relaxation thing. They're stressed. Make me choose: become a TikTok dance couple or a daily Yo, vlog I couple. I wish Ronnie would do the TikTok dances with me. I mean, I'm gonna be a daily vlog couple. I'm not gonna do a TikTok dance. I love doing. I would do TikTok dances if there was a demand. For I it. would not be good at it. I mean, it could be interesting if we did a TikTok dance thing, and then we were like. You know, we're starting out with Ronnie with zero dance skills. And then if we just uploaded, like, a, a video or two a week and saw, like, after a year, if there was- Yeah, yeah. The, daily, the daily part is what gets me. Like, it would just be so much. And also, I do kind of think the daily vlog people are kind of annoying. Oh, yeah. Because I feel like they kind of do the thing where they're like, we have to make this super mundane thing that we did today feel exciting because- it's a vlog, and, you know, I'm just like, I don't know. Oh. Buddy, pal, friend, I've experienced a bona fide, bona fide revelation. Enlighten me, Osage. The giddy revelation is started with a really intense Wikipedia deep dive. While mulling over our last deep convo, the one about being satisfied, I couldn't get my mind off the cat's shay shop. So I had Siri read me every cat related to Wikipedia page. Found out the Christmas Catalan kids feed and care for a wooden log. Well, you know. Um, cats are scientifically determined to be the most chill living organism ever. They inspire me. Actual info That's it. That's, that actually explains a lot. The point is I've always assumed achievements would make my, me feel fulfilled and happy. That wasn't the case. I've panicked a little bit. I've decided to do something to help Catterwall. But given some amazing conveniences in the city, my work would be worth it. Enter Hawkable. I was set on what I thought I didn't have, and maybe I lost sight of what I did have, an idea for Catterwall. That's the thing about cats. They just look happy with what they have. No, I don't. Except when it comes to food, Not that's a whole other story. I could take their example and yours too, honestly. We'll always be around to help. I'll be visiting more. Let's see what I can do to help this community. Turn yourself off, you've earned the break. There's a channel you sub to in ninth grade and she's a family vlogger. Oh, damn. I can't believe every day? Every day? There's a really interesting singer. Like, no break days? That's crazy. Singer songwriter who, uh,. He has recorded a song every day for like six years or something now. Oh. Like he writes a song every day and it's really cool because his first songs are like, you know, simple strumming and now he's like an insane instrumentalist and singer because he's practiced every day. And some of them, it's it's like really interesting to watch because some days he's just like, you know, making my coffee and some days he's like in the, like the ER and he's like, he's like, my sister's really sick and I'm writing a sad song. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of videos. Also, when you say daily vlog, what what is it required of me? Like, do I have to do like a five minute video, or is this like a twenty to thirty minute video that I'm coming up with? Uh, every day? I mean, that would say like ten to fifteen is the min. That that seems like a lot. Oh, maybe. Oh, 
Oh, we need more cat litter. They do 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes isn't that bad. Because I used to like watching Tobuscus' vlogs until he turned toxic. But I feel like some days I just sit and like read all day or like sit and watch TV all day. But, like who's gonna want to see? But you could be like, today I was reading like, uh... Harold the Ninth and I thought, damn, I wish I had a big muscular red Well, I was gonna say like, to I read <laughs> a book with LGBT representation and like maybe it wasn't as good as it was and it could have been improved in these ways. You know, you, you have to like think of how to make a topic out of it but yeah. stuff like that <laughs> i don't know i think my way was, you know, yeah, was good. Have, have. so we don't have enough cat litter. litter but we do have oh my god i felt that people <laughs> but we got the better ones wait this i do have to say I just, I'm pointing this out because I think it's funny. It's been almost 15 minutes since I asked if you are going to I told it. you <laughs> we would stop the day I got the thing, and I just got the thing today, <laughs> but the day's not over. He has a black hole into this game. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> he loves this cat cafe game. <laughs> Give me that ice cream. <laughs> Wow. Are the cats trying to get to that they can't get to something in here? Yeah, ham and lettuce. <laughs> I, yeah, like in 15 minutes, I'm like, alright, I'm going to bed. Oh. Uh... I was about to stop at the end of the workday. The shrine looks completely restored, the clearing seems more at peace, the peace was roughly disturbed by three figures staring through the trees for which- Oh god, it's a cat gang. Finley! I've been looking all over for you. Our wall, that friend that find the potion I drink actually work. Go team. I- I literally- When, I, when Final Fantasy VII Original was out, I probably pulled like 18 hour days playing that game some days on the weekends. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I'd like go to sleep and be like, I, what the fuck is wrong with me? Why are you trying to find me? It's talkable. The company's buying up the town and gathering a small army of bulldozers. No! They're gonna destroy the shrine. They need more time to prepare. It could happen any day. They couldn't find a better spot to build their whack ass business center. Yo, they just dropped the. I swear to this. You get this way playing fighting yeah. games? Yeah. <laughs> Over my dead body, assuming I survived that potion. What do we do? We can't let the shrine go to waste. Our wall, it's time to throw down. <laughs> you know what? Now you're talking my language. <laughs> I love languages that don't involve talking. Hold off on that for now. The time for place for direct action. He's ready. Direct action. <laughs> just keep clicking next match. I can tell because my eyes like glaze over when I need to stop. There are definitely times when I played video games and I'm like, I feel like I'm starving. And then I'm like, oh, it's because it's like 3 p.m. and I haven't eaten anything yet today because I was playing a video game all day. Yeah. Alright, that's the end of the day. We'll just make sure we're stocked up on food. Bam. 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 Herbs. Bam. 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 Then... Last recipe? Oh, we can't. Alright, and we'll hit this button. 